Hey there, and welcome to a small tutorial series for absolute beginners of VVVV, a powerful visual programming environment for creative coders, visualists, interaction designers, software engineers, and the like. My name is Christoph, and I'm a Vienna-based interaction designer and media artist, instructor at the Node Institute, and also running the Design and Production Studio 3E8. I would like to get you started with playing around in VVVV, introduce you to the most important nodes and techniques when creating interactive multimedia applications and provide you with a solid base to go deeper into programming VL. So first of all, what is VL? VL is basically the language that you use when patching applications in VVVV and it is also the language that many nodes and libraries are programmed with and even also some parts of the environment itself. It is an object-oriented visual programming language that compiles in real-time into C-sharp in the background, and you will be confronted with common programming principles like type conversions, conditions, loops, and so on. For a beginner, this might sound scary at first, but during this tutorial series, you will be introduced to some of the basic principles while we patch very minimalistic examples using the integrated 3D rendering engine Stride. You can download VVVV at the website visualprogramming.net, where you also get an overview of what it is commonly being used for. This tutorial series is prepared for the version 5, which at this point is not out yet. So once you see in the download section here that the version 5 is available, please download the latest stable and otherwise until then get the most recent preview version by clicking on this button. When you first open VVVV, this is what you will see. On the left side, there's the patch editor where you will be working on your applications. You can place notes from the node browser by double clicking into the blank area and typing in the name of the node you're looking for, for instance, an LFO. You can zoom in and out the editor with the mouse wheel and navigate the patch while pressing the right mouse button. On the right side, there's the help browser and for a start, you definitely should browse through some of these patches in the learn section and play around with the examples. Also, I want to point you to the official onboarding video from the developers, which is linked in the video description. There you will get some more information about the help browser and also the licensing model of VVVV. What you also will learn in this video, and of course it should be mentioned here as well, this is the so-called quad menu, where you will find all actions related to VVVV, like creating a new document, managing external libraries or controlling the runtime. And this is the document menu, which contains the common actions that you want to use on your applications like saving or closing the patch or setting external libraries as dependencies. Since the release of the official video you just watched, VVVV also got this menu in the top right corner. This gives you access to the settings, the theme, for example a light or a dark theme, and also further information about the environment itself and its license. In VVVV, you program your applications by connecting nodes with each other through so-called links and I.O. boxes, where links create the operation between two nodes and I.O. boxes set and display values in the patch. In the node browser, all of VVVV's nodes are bundled by categories, which are represented by this icon looking like a folder. If you go into one of these, you might find more categories or nodes that you can put in your patch. You might also have noticed these four dots in the top left corner. They filter the node set in the browser by standard, advanced, experimental and obsolete nodes. Click on one of these dots to extend the displayed node set in the node browser. However, during the course of this tutorial only nodes from the standard set are used so you can leave the other three options disabled. But if you want to start going deeper, you might want to take a look into what the advanced or experimental node sets are offering. Underneath the categories, there are a lot more entries which have a little present as their icon. These are VL libraries that extend the node set of VVVV and you can click on these libraries to reference them in your current patch. Afterwards, you see the nodes they contain in the node browser. For example, if you want to start rendering in 3D and you're looking for a node called Scene Window, which you need for displaying your renderings, you won't find this node until you set a reference to VL Stride, which is the package that contains this node. Afterwards, the scene window appears and can be selected. It is also possible to set the dependencies in the document menu by navigating to Dependencies, VL Nuggets, and then right-clicking on the entry of the library. 
Besides the packages that VVVV comes with by default, we can include a lot of other libraries which are provided by the developers and the community. At some point, there will be a package manager to include other libraries in the interface, but for now, these so-called nuggets have to be installed via the command line, and I'd like to point you to the official video from the developers on how to do that. You can also always try to hit F1 on a selected node. This will open a help patch for the node if there is one for it. And here, you can play around with the example, learn how the node should be used, and maybe copy a thing here and there. This tutorial series is also accompanied with a nugget that includes lots of interactive examples and you will find the instructions on how to install it in the GitHub repository, which is linked in the video description. If you have further questions and need some more help, I'd also like to point you to the official forum via discourse.vvvv.org in which you should open a topic if you are stuck or if something does not work as expected. The community is very responsive and in 95% of the cases your problems will be solved here. Additionally, there's a chat on Element where all the users are present, but I recommend to primarily ask questions in the forum because then the solutions are also collected and searchable for future patches. Lastly, I'd like to mention if you enjoy this video series and find it useful, please consider supporting its development via the link in the video description. That's it for the introduction. In the next video, we're going to start with basic data types of VVVV and their I.O. boxes. Thanks for watching.